I bring a message of great hope uh, both to uh, the United States and to the world in terms of the changes that I think we can expect the Trump administration to bring on energy and environmental policy. Uh, let me uh, reiterate what Benny said. I uh, am not a part, I don't represent the Trump administration. I'm not a part of it. I don't serve in it. It was my privilege from early September until January 19th to head the uh, tr presidential transition team for the EPA. And we did produce, uh, as every agency or departmental team did, we did produce an action plan for the agency, uh, which is essentially an advisory document for the new administration on what policies it should pursue and how it should pursue them. And in, in doing this, what, what the Trump transition did was to try to write departmental or agency plans to fulfill and implement every single one of the promises and commitments that Mr. Trump made as a candidate. So uh, I'm not going to uh, reveal any, this, this advisory document, the agency action plan, uh, is a confidential document, and I'm not going to reveal anything in it. But I can tell you what President Trump promised to do when he was a candidate. And on energy and the environment, there were a number of very uh, clear and sort of black and white promises. He said he will withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement. He will defund UN climate programs. At the EPA, he will uh, essentially withdraw or repeal all of the Obama administration rules regarding uh, greenhouse gas emissions, including the so-called Clean Power Plan. He will undo the uh, President Obama's Climate Action Plan, which affects every single agency in the federal government. Uh, and there's a long list of other things that we can talk about when you ask questions, but then I want to say a word about energy policy. And so I think the first hopeful thing I have to say is to tell you that uh, I think uh, the United States has clearly, uh, will clearly change course on climate policy. And that's the first piece of good news. The second piece of good news is that President Trump, as a candidate, said that he wants to unleash American energy production. Now, of course, American oil and gas production as a result of the shale revolution has been increasing dramatically despite the best efforts of the Obama administration to limit it. Uh, luckily, uh, only 28% of the United States land mass is federally owned. That may shock you to know that it's that much, but uh, most, virtually all of the increase in oil and gas production through the shale, new shale technology uh, is, is on private land. Uh, on federal land and offshore, our oil and gas production has actually been going down. And of course, some of the rules that uh, the EPA has been trying to promulgate would further limit uh, production in, in, the ch in the shale fields by regulating uh, uh, gas field methane emissions into the atmosphere. And there are some other things too, some fracking rules that they've been talking about. So uh, President Obama said in the campaign that he, he wants to make America the world's largest energy producer and to achieve a position of global dominance as an energy producer. Now, uh, why is this, this is obviously good for the United States, but why is it good for the world? Well, it's, it's, just, it, it's not only about energy policy, it's about strategy, ge geopolitical strategy. By uh, becoming the world's major supplier of energy, the United States will reduce the influence of certain countries in the Middle East and of Russia. And so, uh, how is this going to happen? Well, it's going to happen because the United States has the world's largest reserves of fossil fuels. We have by far the world's largest reserves of coal. Uh, and we also have, uh, with because of the shale revolution, have <coughs> gigantic fields of natural gas and oil uh, that will make uh, the United States inevitably the world's largest producer of oil and gas. So I think those are two uh, very positive outcomes of the election. 
uh, and I expect uh, President Trump to uh, be very assiduous in keeping his promises, despite all of the uh, flack he's going to get from uh, his opponents. Thank you.